All right, we want to get you back to one of our top stories and shocking new details of yet another government spying program. The National Security Agency not only collecting and analyzing the phone records of millions of Americans, but it's also tracking everything you do on the web. So what information should the government have access to? And will there be any legal fallout? Joe DiBenetetto is a criminal defense attorney and Dan Shore is a former prosecutor. Good to see both of you. And Dan, I want to start with you. You say that you're, you're okay with this overall, but you feel like there needs to be some balance. Well, I'm not okay with that. I am concerned about it. The situation is that you have to balance the national security threat of terrorism with the privacy interests of individuals. And we need a rigorous debate over the limits of what government information can be provided to the government. However, if the public doesn't even know what information the government is gathering, you can't have that debate. An informed debate requires openness, the public knowing the extent of government information about us, and we're only starting to learn how far this invasion has gone. So we have to find out more information, then we can have a real debate. But Joe, if the government is doing this under the guise of national security, then how much should be disclosed? Well, it's, it's clear that too much is being disclosed because, as is, we're not targeting simply terrorists. We are targeting everybody. And, and it's, it's a slippery slope. It's clear here that, that not only are we being targeted, but possibly our children as well. And I think people should feel just a tiny bit uncomfortable about that. But now, are they really, really targeting you and me and who I'm talking to and who you guys might be talking to or emailing? Or are they look, listening for key phrases that sort of, you know, uh, you know, ping the system, if you will. So it's right. not as if everything you're doing or I'm doing that they really care about. Well, they're targeting threats from overseas or people here, foreigners that want to do us harm. However, information from Americans, and now we know much more information than we thought is being gathered. So what's done with that information, we don't really know. And that's what I want to, go ahead. Well, if we're, if we're limiting the scope of, of this to people overseas or sus suspected terrorists, that's fine. But who's to say that this information will not be used for other purposes? Now that's where I want that's to go, get to you with this, and Joe, because as a criminal defense attorney and, and as a prosecutor, I want to ask you, if there, is there any possibility that somehow down the line this collection of data could po somehow affect your line of work? Without a doubt. I, I, you know, there's, I wouldn't be surprised if this information pops up on, on a criminal case where even though it's supposed to be used for suspected terrorists, uh, somebody who, who could be involved in, in some sort of criminal conduct all of a sudden is, is now being targeted um, and, and does not originally, does not fall under the guise of a suspected terrorist and now is, is playing a major part in a criminal case. Even if the intent is good to gather information to protect us, we don't know what individual people in the government will do with that information. And if we don't even know the extent of the information being gathered, we can't even really watch out for intrusions and violations of our privacy. Well, I mean, this, this conversation is certainly just beginning. So much uh, dialogue to continue. And we want to continue on another case. So stick around for me, right? Thank you. Because we're going to talk uh, with Joe and Dan in a few minutes about a shocking verdict out of Texas where a jury just acquitted a man accused of or with murder charges. He admitted shooting an escort who would not have sex with him after he paid her $150. That lady died later. The jury finding he was justified. And these guys are going to weigh in on that at the bottom of the hour. Stick around for that one.